All the top-tier referees say that getting to know the teams, players, and their playing style is crucial to their pregame. Uh, when I was in the PCL uh, or calling the national team games, uh, we do an actual scouting report of the teams. So, okay. so we go player by player, including the coach. Uh, we do the analysis. How do they behave? Are they, um, are they, are they faking? Are they flopping? Are they going for, for offensive rebounds? Right. How are they screens normally? And, and, and so on. So the both teams, the mm -hmm. last game that they played, I'm trying to, to study the style of the players, their characteristic, and how they play. Yeah. I'm not, I'm like, if I want to say, like, the percentage, I'm focusing, I'm focusing like, on 30% of how the, the team is playing and 70% for the characteristic of the players. Okay. Because every time that the, the game is on the line, every time that there is high pressure, the player is doing, you know, his best move to decide the game. Yeah. Uh, so different teams are playing different tactics. So, for example, uh, when when uh, Zalginis went to the final four, I believe this was the year when uh, Zalginis was in the final four. Yeah, 2018. I was there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what they were doing their uh, their offense was uh, first eight seconds. So, because the big teams were tired to go back, and they overrun them. So, for us, it's uh, another way of preparation. So we need to kick to the fast, to the fast break as fast as possible, not to miss the fa the fouls in the baseline. So this is a different kind of preparation. But yeah. what do you do as an up and coming referee officiating at lower or youth levels? There are no reports or game highlights available most of the time. This question bothered me until I had a light bulb moment listening to Marco Pesic of Bayern Basketball at a podcast he was visiting. If we go and analyze a box score here that your game at Panathinaikos there's certain things to look for at halftime and there's certain things to look for at, at the at the end of the game and now this is the end of game box score what's the first thing that jumps into your mind when you look at the game and if every game is different i'm sure that you, have, you look at, at you look at different things for different games but specifically for this game what did you look for uh, at this box score well it's uh, you mean at half at, at half time or at the end of the game at the end of the game well for, first of all the, the 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 couple of things that i look immediately uh, uh, at when i look at the uh, stat sheet at the end of the game is uh, uh turnovers i look mm -hmm. at turnovers i look at assists mm -hmm. i look at offensive rebounding and i look at free throws because they define some kind of the how aggressive we were mm -hmm. you know uh, so I, I generally i'm telling you generally i look at uh, assists as turnovers, he suggested the metrics uh, for aggressiveness rebounding, rebounding, i stumbled upon a myriad of statistics for any level on the finnish basketball federation's website for example Let's take a look at Finnish 16-year-old boys nationals. Helsinki YMCA, which is third place in the ranking, is hosting the league leader Puhu. Immediately by going to team stats, you can see the average points both teams scored per game. This can provide you a reference point to anticipate a low-scoring or high-scoring game. Rebounds can tell about what kind of physicality to expect under the rim. Helsinki YMCA collects two more offensive rebounds per game compared to their opponent. On the other hand, Puhu seems to lead the league in defensive rebounds with YMCA only one rebound behind per game. Overall, there is a good indication for us referees to keep the physicality in check in the rebound situations as both teams contest for the ball. Digging further into the stats with three-point attempts and percentage. I find this bit of data particularly useful as it can help anticipate situations behind the arc. YMCA attempted to shoot behind the arc more, but Puhu has a better conversion rate. Puhu also leads the league on two-point shot percentage. This explains why their offensive rebound stats were trailing behind other teams. They don't need them. There is more data available. On this page, we can see that Puhu starts the game strong, averaging more than 25 points per game in the first quarter. Tells me to expect an eventful start to the game and warm up accordingly. You can also observe statistics on shooting percentage on different parts of the team's front court. This could provide insights into their plays. For example, in this case, we can expect to see post-up plays from Puhu from the low post right side of their front court. These stats help me anticipate the game better and prepare for games at the youth level. Does your federation provide similar stats? Share in the comments below to create a pool of knowledge for your fellow referees.